efficient organization of work is the basis. Before you start creating automatic actions, you'll add integrations. Prepare appropriate statuses in the Baselink or system to which your orders will be sent. Statuses must form a logical sequence of the order processing, process, and creating this process will vary from company to company depending on whether you only sell on one marketplace, multiple marketplaces, whether you sell in the UK or also sell internationally. Statuses will reflect how you sell, and statuses will reflect how your business works and how your employees will handle these orders. If you have already established a process from how you want to handle these orders, then you should prepare such statuses that will reflect your current process. To add statuses to the system, you need to go to the Orders tab. Select Order Statuses. And at this point, we set two things, same statuses and status groups. Why is it worth dividing statuses into groups? If you have a lot of different statuses, you will handle orders much more clearly if they are divided into logical parts. Begin from the top where orders are received into the system, ending at the bottom where they are received by the customer, cancelled orders, or any other. Therefore, we will start by creating a group of statuses, that is, how our orders will be divided. At this point, we have already created several test groups, but we will add a completely new one. So we click this green button, New Status Group. We will call our status group, in this example, In Progress. We will add statuses to this group of statuses, which we will serve, that is, orders will go here, already paid, or, for example, cash on delivery, ready to pack. Let's add one more group of statuses. We will call it Packaged. Here will be sent orders that are already packed to which the package was created. Keep in mind, however, that this is one example of how you can create status groups. However, it all depends on how you and your company these orders would be handled. So, we have created two new groups of orders. Now let's add specific statuses and assign them to the appropriate group. Let's go to Order Statuses. You already have a few statuses added here. Each new Baselinker system already has certain statuses created. You can delete them by clicking the X. You can edit them by clicking here, on the right, pencil icon. To add a new status, select a new status. First, we need to choose the color. As you can see, the palette is practically arbitrary. Remember to choose colors that will help you handle these orders. Creating a palette from dark to light, for example, or for example, in one status group, add one color. Of course, it's all up to you, so you can add any other color to any other order. However, remember that color is also part of the characteristics of the status, from what orders are received in there and what function the status performs. Then enter the name of the status, and here we can enter the status to which orders will go, for example, from Royal Mail, let's call it Royal Mail. The short name must be a shorter name of up to 17 characters. Let it also be behind Royal Mail. Full name will be the name that the customer will see. This name will appear on the order page, which is generated for each order. The customer can go to the link to the order page and see the name of the status here. Therefore, remember to post the information you want the customer to see. In this scenario, if the order goes to the status of a Royal Mail, it will be an order already paid correct to which the package can be generated. So with the name full status, it can be just order during implementation. And this is what the customer will see. Another thing is to choose the status group to which this status should belong. Status wants it to be in a group in implementation. So I click Save, and you're done. Now, if I go to the list of orders, you will see that we have several groups. And my new group in progress in which we have added status Royal Mail.